Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to make a factor tree. Factor trees are really, really useful when you're simplifying things under a square root or a cube root. So why don't we make a factor tree for the number, let's do 48, because 48 has a ton of factors. So the first thing we'll think is what two numbers do we multiply together to get 48? The ones that I can think would be 6 and 8. So that's the first branch of our tree. Now we look at 6 and say, is that a prime number? Is the only way to make 6 to go 1 times 6? No, I can think of another way to do it. It would be 2 times 3. So we've got another branch on our tree and we do the same thing. We ask ourselves, is 2 a prime number? Yeah, it's only 2 times 1 or 1 times 2, which is the same thing. So we're done with that branch. Is 3 a prime number? Yep, yeah, it's only 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. And we look over here. Is 8 a prime number? No, 8 is 1 times 8, but it's also 2 times 4. We said 2 is a prime number. 4 is not a prime number. It's also 2 times 2. And 2 is a prime number, so we can circle it. So that would be a factor tree for the number 48. Now there's more than one factor tree that would be right. Instead of 48 being 6 times 8, you could have said that it's 2 times 24. You would have got a different tree, but it would still be correct. Let's do another example. Let's do the number 144. Now it would not be correct to say that that is 1 times 144 because 1 is one of those numbers that's not really a prime number even though it looks like it. It's not applicable. We can't use it in our factor tree. <coughs> but that's okay because there's lots of other ways to make 144. You could divide it by 2 if you want, but I'm going to say 144 is 12 times 12. 12 is not a prime number. It's also 6 times 2. 6 is not a prime number. It's also 3 times 2. But 3 is a prime number, 2 is prime, and 2 is prime. So that branch is done. We'll do the same thing over here. 12 is really 6 times 2. You could say it's 3 times 4 if you'd rather do that. 2 is prime, but 6 isn't. It's also 3 times 2. So always circle the end of your branches, and that's it really for making a factor tree. Sometimes your factor trees don't have a lot of branches. 144 has quite a few. Let's think of another number, maybe 25. 25 is 5 times 5. 5 is prime. 5 is prime. So that's it. Sometimes your factor tree is not very exciting, but that's okay.